as a designer, I can, I can. It depends also extremely on, on what the object is. Uh, maybe we should sh stay with the chair um, as as an example. Then of course a, a chair. It depends very much what what who am I trying to design or who am I designing the chair for and what kind of situation. And uh, I, I talked a little bit about the psychology of. You know, we see a chair in a certain situation, there's a reading, we, we react to it before even sitting on it. Um, there's a famous um, um, uh, anecdote or, or story that, uh, you know, people were made to test chairs, a series of five chairs, different chairs, and they were made to test these chairs, you know, looking at them, sitting on them, saying they like it or not in terms of comfort, and then the same test blindfolded. And of course, the, re the results were, in parts, quite different. Because a, a beautiful chair, you would always say, is comfortable. But when you don't see it, it's much more the kind of physical, um, the physical kind of analysis you give. But I think um, what this says is how, how important the, the, the visual, uh, the psychological impact of an object is to, to how even we would kind of arrange ourselves with it in a, in a, in a physical way. Um, and I think that it would be wrong to think that as designers we always have to create comfort. And I was explaining that with my chairs that I, I said they are, some of them are uncomfortable, but, but sometimes the, the, that, that, that sensation of not being comfortable may be the right um, Maybe right, and and I, I don't think I, I think a world of objects, which is uh, all comfortable and easy and smooth, would be awful, would be terrible. I think our world of the material world and, and the world in which we live, it, it lives of the contrast of things that are because things are uncomfortable, we are able to appreciate what comfortable is, and because uh, you know, I, I may have uh, I don't know. Um, changing mood, I, I feel, you know, I, I just need something more edgy one day and, and something smooth another day. So I think as designers, we, we it's, it would be an illusion to think that we can create that perfect object uh, of comfort. Uh, and, and this is not the point. I think we're trying to take into consideration uh, a lot of the, um, a lot of aspects which come into play. Into play, which means that interaction, what actually happens between um, a human being and an object in a, in a situation. It's really that we, we need to think of the whole context. And of course, as industrial designers, we cannot foresee that context. We can, we can design a chair, but it will be produced 10,000 times, and the, the, the chair number 7,913 will be sold and, and used by someone who I don't know and I never would know. And then we can, I don't know, we can only offer or, or make, it, make this kind of, make an offer of a chair and uh, it works or it doesn't. <laughs>